Life magazine owned the camera original film until 1975 when they decided to sell it back to the Abraham Zepruder family, for, reportedly for one dollar. The National Archives, concerned about preserving the original film, asked the family if they could store it for them, and of course the family agreed right away. But the U.S. authorities seized the role of film, and as a result had to pay the Zapruder family. But how much is the original film reel worth? What I was trying to do was to rebut the government argument that the film wasn't worth very much. Part of their approach in the case was to say, this was a film, and uh, you can go buy this film for only a few dollars at a Camry store. Robert Bennett was the lawyer for the Sabruda family. He believed that the film could be compared to iconic works of art when it came to determining the price. After long discussions, they concluded that the film should be priced as high as the Codex Lester by Leonardo da Vinci. In the process of telling them why we picked the Codex, why our experts picked it, we drew analogies with famous paintings, great, great works of art. When the litigation was over, we got, I think, approximately $17 million. So we were quite pleased with the outcome. There were many photographers at the scene when Kennedy was shot, but only one captured the moment of death. The other film copies have never been considered art. But when it comes to the Sapruda film, the US authorities accepted that a film about a person's death can be compared to a work of Leonardo da Vinci. The film doesn't just document a murder. It has also been given an aesthetic value. 